Good morning. We're in Winchester today, one of the most historic cities in England. We're starting our walk at the top of the High Street to see the more modern face of Winchester, as well as some of that history. Coming up on the left is a sign which points towards the oldest pub in England. There are a number of pubs in England that have that claim, and this is one of them, the Royal Oak. The present form of the city dates from reconstruction in the late 9th century, when King Alfred the Great virtually rebuilt the town with a grid layout to provide better defences against the Vikings. Winchester was the capital of Wessex, Alfred's kingdom, and later became the capital of England, which at the time covered all of the south and west up to the Midlands. We're coming up to the Butter Cross, which we can see on our right. It dates from the 15th century, and this is where country people came to sell their produce. The monument that we can see now was restored in 1865. When the Normans invaded in 1066, William the Conqueror ordered, amongst other building projects, that the Anglo-Saxon Old Minster Cathedral be demolished and he started the construction of the new present cathedral on the same site in 1079. We'll visit the new cathedral in the next video. We're at the bottom of the high street now and coming up on our right is the Guild Hall. This impressive building was completed in 1873 it sits on the site of one of the largest nunneries in England, which was founded in 899 by Aylesworth, the widow of King Alfred the Great. Just beyond the Guildhall, we can see a large statue coming up in front of us. This is a statue of the great man himself, Alfred the Great. If it wasn't for this man, those of us living in England would probably all be speaking Danish now. Alfred the Great was King of Wessex and then King of all the Anglo-Saxons until his death in 899. After seeing off several Viking invasions, he made an agreement with the Vikings, dividing England between Anglo-Saxon territory in the south and the Viking ruled Danelaw in the north. Winchester was his capital city. We walk on past the statue and come to the old town mill. This sits alongside part of the river Itchin. We're going to cross the road now and walk alongside the river down to the old city walls. The River Itchin is one of the best fly fishing chalk streams in the world. Look at that beautifully clear water. We soon arrive at the old city walls, which we can now see on our right. These walls were originally built by the Romans in the second century, but they were rebuilt by Alfred the Great to protect the city against the threat of the Vikings. Most of the walls have gone now, but this section remains and leads us round to Wolvesey Castle, which was the palace of the Bishop of Winchester. This was built in the days when bishops were very powerful and influential men. The ruins that we can see here are of the palace which was completed by Henry of Blois, in the 12th century. Henry was a grandson of William the Conqueror and brother of King Stephen, so a very powerful man indeed.
This palace was the home of the bishops of Winchester until the English Civil War, when the building was destroyed by the Roundheads in 1646. We'll leave the Bishop's Palace and walk up College Street. The building on our left now was founded in 1382 by William of Wickham, who was the Bishop of Winchester at the time. This is Winchester College and was originally set up to educate boys from poor families. In 2022, the college opened its doors to girls for the first time. This is where Rishi Sunak was educated, and where he was head boy. Farther along College Street, we can see the house where the novelist Jane Austen lived at the end of her life. She's buried in Winchester Cathedral, and we'll see that in the next video in this series. Reaching the end of College Street, we're approaching King's Gate. This is one of the two surviving medieval gates to the city. It was first recorded in 1148, though the gate that we can see was built in the 14th century. Above the King's Gate is a small church of St Swithin upon King's Gate. St Swithin was built in the Middle Ages and is unusual in forming a part of the fabric of the old city walls. Let's have a look inside. Not a large church, but a perfect place of worship across the centuries. We've only really scratched the surface of the historical places that can be found in Winchester. We'll come back again and see more of the city. In the next video, we'll visit Winchester Cathedral, which is among the largest of its kind in Northern Europe. So come back next time and we'll go inside the cathedral. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel. And thanks very much for watching.